What exactly is malware? Malware is short for malicious software. Malware can be a virus, a worm, or a Trojan horse. They all cause different types of problems, so let's take a closer look. A computer virus behaves much like a biological virus, which spreads by inserting itself into living cells. The computer virus spreads by inserting copies of itself into other code or documents. A computer worm is also a self-replicating program, but it propagates through a computer network without user intervention. A worm doesn't need to attach itself to an existing program. Many people confuse the terms virus and worm, using them both to describe any self-replicating program. A Trojan horse is a program which seems to be doing one thing, but is actually doing another. A Trojan horse can be used to set up a backdoor in a computer system so that the intruder can gain access. What damage can malware do? Today, malware is primarily used to steal sensitive personal, financial, or business information like social security numbers and credit card account information. The stolen information is then sold to other cyber criminals for profit. The damaged cause can range from a minor annoyance to a catastrophic disaster. How can you get infected? Before opening any email attachments, be sure the attachment is legitimate and use your antivirus software to scan it before opening it. Portable media. Any device that can store information can support malicious content. Visiting malicious websites. Any legitimate website could be the victim of an attack, which in turn could leave you at risk. Downloading files from websites, including generic files, software, plugins, movies, audio files, as well as mobile code such as ActiveX, JavaScript, or Flash. Participating in peer-to-peer -peer file sharing systems, especially when used to access illegal or infringing content. Instant messaging clients, especially if unpatched. They allow hackers to upload or download files through holes in the client software. New devices. Although it's rare, mobile phones, digital photo frames, etc. can be compromised during manufacturing if the manufacturer's system is compromised. Social networking sites offer several situations that could put you at risk of infection, like malicious hyperlinks, applications and plugins, and friends whose accounts have been hacked. Social engineering attacks that trick users into either giving up information or unwittingly performing tasks that result in a security breach. Not following security guidelines and policies, such as bypassing filters, using unauthorized outside storage devices, or blocking software updates, all increase the chance of becoming infected. How can I avoid becoming infected? Keep software up to date so that hackers can't take advantage of the software holes and vulnerabilities. Use and maintain antivirus, anti-malware, and anti-spyware software tools. Install a firewall to shield your computer or network from malicious internet traffic. Do this on your mobile device too, especially if you connect to free Wi-Fi hotspots. Update your security settings in your software browsers, email programs, and your online accounts. Use strong passwords and change them regularly. Disconnect your computer from the internet whenever you aren't using it. Maintain backups of your files on CDs or DVDs so that you have saved copies in case you get infected. Follow good security practices and take appropriate precautions when using email, web browsers to reduce the risk that your actions will trigger an infection. These helpful tips are provided by InfoSant Inc., an information security company working to help ensure the privacy and security of your corporate personal and financial information.